Everybody loved Carly's hugs. That's what people say they miss the most, is Carly's hugs. Carly had a way of making you feel important. It started right out of high school. She got involved with some people that uh, we knew right away wasn't the best choice. There'd be times that, you know, we'd, we'd take Carly home from something or, or whatever, and we'd talk to her in the car. Hey, what can we do to help you out? We did our best to help her. And those that have dealt with helping an addict would agree, there's no right way to do it. You don't know what to do. You feel helpless. The purpose behind running, for, for me, it all started with Addict Athlete about so oh, six and a half years ago when my daughter joined Addict Athlete to help her with her addiction issues. Their philosophy is erase and replace, so we want to erase bad behaviors and replace them with things of greater value. Running is a great way to do that. With all the running we do, we started seeing other people pushing assisted athletes and chairs and that, and of course, we become friends with them and start to talk to them. And then more and more assisted athletes start popping up and need people to push. Tyson and Emma's relationship started about a year and a half ago. We met through Addict to Athletes. Emma, she's legally blind, legally deaf, so she really hears vibrations. So the lower the music, the lower your voice, whatever, she, you'll react to that more. But if she has a toy that she wants you to play, she'll grab you and pull you over to it, and she'll start pounding your hand on it just so she can hear, you know, and then she starts laughing and giggling, and it's a blast to you know, be with her. I want to say their first race together was the Thankful 13, and it's literally a half marathon that we do Thanksgiving morning. Every time you assist every time you run and you do it in proxy you do it for somebody who can't you give those miles you give your heart you give your soul to somebody who can't be there for themselves even if the kids in the chair can't tell you hey i'm having a good time but you can see it you can feel it you can feel the love and the passion that they have for what you're doing for them just by being there both Tyson and Rob. They're always serving and they're always giving and they're always trying to do for others. More and more people are dying from addiction and everybody wants help. They just don't know it sometimes. It's just a matter of when is that next person gonna come out of the darkness and reach up, grab them by the hand and pull them along with you. That's what we're here for. The more people we can help, the better.